Okay, so speaking of freedom, as with life, there are many levels and layers, cycles, and with freedom, true freedom begins with the individual, with the person, with the mind. It all begins with the mind, with the concept, with the image of how we define something, of how we make it real, what it means to us. So first, we must free ourselves from our mental slavery. Freedom of the mind is going to look like a dissolving. It's going to take many shapes and forms, and for some, it's going to be very intense and earth shattering. For many of us, we're not going to understand what true freedom is until we're faced with not just adversity, not just lows, but earth-shattering events, things that shake our foundations, things that make us not just question, but realize that the thoughts and the things that we held on to, the beliefs that we held on to, were not just based upon half-truths or full lies, but were Something that we adopted, something that we agreed upon, because we were taught it at a young age, and at that level we, we went with the majority rule, we went with those that we were supposed to, as children, as young beings, as adolescents, we look up to those that are bigger or seem to be wiser, seem to have a more of a grasp upon what it's all about. But as we grow older, as we fix, start to think for ourselves, and really that's what it is. That's what freedom is. Breaking free of the thoughts, of the ideals, of the mental slavery that we've been subjected to and really starting to think for ourselves and realizing, feeling what that is. So figure shit out for yourself to test stuff out for yourself, to redefine your reality, to redefine your terms, your language, your own language, to redefine these big concepts that seem to rule the world currently, to rule your world, to experience things in a new way, 
and define them in a more accurate way. To open up. To feel the real. That's where freedom begins. <laughs>